In this video, we are going to look at co-insurance and we are going to look at co-insurance for property insurance as well as in health insurance. Let's get to it. First, let's look at property insurance. Kwan Ayu wants to buy fire insurance for her house. The insurable value of the house is 500,000 ringgit. The fire insurance policy she wants to buy has a co-insurance provision to insure 75% of its insurable value and a deductible of 3,500 ringgit. Calculate the amount of insurance required by Puan Ayu for the house. The amount of insurance required is simply dependent on the percentage of the co-insurance provision multiplied by the insurable value of the house or the property. This is equals to 75%, that is the co-insurance, multiplied by the insurable value of the property is 500,000 ringgit. This is equals to 375,000 ringgit. This is the amount of insurance required for 75% co-insurance. Based on this amount of required insurance, the amount of compensation received depends on three different scenarios. Number one, if the insured value is equals to the required value, you get a certain compensation. The second situation is when you get an insurance value that is less than the required value. And the third situation is in a total loss. All three scenarios will have different values of compensation. Let's explore these three different scenarios through the question. Kwan Ayu's house caught on fire and the amount of loss is 75,000 ringgit. Calculate the amount of compensation that she will receive if she insured her house. The first situation is at the required insurance. If she insured the house at the required amount, which is 375,000 ringgit, then the compensation she will get is simply the loss minus the deductible. This is equals to the loss is 75,000 ringgit and then we need to subtract the deductible from the question earlier which is 3,500 ringgit. This is provided that the loss is less than the insured amount and this means the compensation will be 71,500 ringgit. In the second scenario, she insures her house at a sum of 300,000 ringgit. Keep in mind, this value is actually less than the required 375,000 ringgit, which we calculated earlier. In this scenario, the amount of compensation will not be the total loss. It will only be a fraction of it. And it will be the amount insured over the required amount multiplied by the loss. This is the fraction of the loss that is covered. Of course, the policyholder also has to bear the deductible, so the compensation would be minus deductible. And this is simply equals to the amount insured was 300,000 ringgit over the required amount, which is 375,000 ringgit. And then we multiply the loss, which is 75,000 ringgit, as stated in the question. And finally, we just need to subtract the deductible of 3,500 ringgit, as stated in the question as well. And this amount will be 56,500 ringgit. Let's look at the next one. Calculate the co-insurance penalty in question two. So first let's discuss what is a co-insurance penalty. The co-insurance penalty is the amount that is borne by the policy holders it is an amount paid by policyholders if, as a result of not meeting the co-insurance provision. That is to say, if the policyholder did not insure the property at the required amount. Therefore, the co-insurance penalty will simply be the amount that would have been covered by the insurance company if the insured amount was at the required value minus the amount of loss that is actually being covered. That would be the fraction of the loss as calculated if the amount insured was less than the required insurance. That is just a fraction 
of the 75,000 and that would be 15,000 ringgit. This 15,000 ringgit is the amount that the policyholder has to bear because he did not get the insurance at the required amount. Calculate the amount of compensation that Puan Ayu will receive if she suffered a total loss on her property. So this is the third scenario where we have a total loss. For a total loss, the amount of compensation is simply equals to the amount insured minus the deductible. And this is equals to the amount insured here is 300,000. So that would be 300,000 minus the deductible of 3,500 ringgit, which is equals to 296,500 ringgit. This is assuming that she insured the house for 300,000 ringgit. Now let's look at the second type of insurance with coinsurance, that is health insurance. The calculation for health insurance is slightly different. Let's look at this question. Madam Chu has a major medical insurance policy with a deductible provision of 600 ringgit and a 70-30 coinsurance percentage participation clause in her policy. Calculate the cost borne by the insurance company and Madam Chu herself if the medical cost covered by her policy is 22,500 ringgit. For health insurance, the first thing we need to calculate is the medical cost after deductible. And that would be simply the cost of the treatment, which is 22,500 ringgit, minus the deductible amount of 600 ringgit, which is 21,900 ringgit. The cost borne by the insurance company does not include the deductible. And so the percentage borne by the insurance company in a 70-30 split is 70%. And therefore the calculation is 70%, which is 70 out of 100, multiplied by 21,900 ringgit. And the amount is 15,330 ringgit. This is the amount borne by the insurance company. The cost borne by Madam Chu will simply be 30% of the same value, that is 30 over 100 multiplied by 21,900 ringgit. But don't forget she also has to bear the deductible of 600 ringgit. And so the total would be 7,170 ringgit. I hope this video has been helpful guys. If it has, please do me a favor and hit that like button for the algorithm really helps a lot. Thank you for watching and I really hope to see you guys in the next video.